Hey everyone, today I want to talk about putting the right weight and emphasis on a book. So when I choose a book or I go back to a book, the books I select oftentimes have different weights on them. And what this means is that I give more importance to specific book. I give more importance to specific books because they have more credibility behind them. So there's thousands, tens of thousands of books written by millionaires telling you all about how they made their wealth. Some of them had only, some of them have made their first million. Others have made a million, lost it numerous times, and now become multi-millionaires. Generally speaking, I factor those, and generally speaking, I give more importance to those because they have more experience and more knowledge with keeping said million, not only creating it. And finally, there have been books like Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich, which, which I put more emphasis on because this man has literally spent 20 years of his life analyzing 500 of the wealthiest people on the entire planet to create his books. And so I think it's very important and again you don't I think it's so I think it's very important to use this when you're choosing a book or you're emphasizing it so that you don't put too much weight on specific books. I think one thing I see a lot of people do that they I I think one thing I see a lot of people do when they get into this if they ever do is that they're kind of is that they're just giving every book equal weight. They're spending way too much time reading this one and not giving any extra emphasis on Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill or any of his other books. And I think that's a problem too. And again, having more information and taking action on that information is very helpful because one thing is that if you know that... Because if you knew that Think and Grow Rich was mainly written as a condensed shorter version of Laws of Success because Laws of Success was just such a large book that it didn't sell, then you would realize that Think and Grow Rich, although it's really good, it's more so like the appetizer to the main course if you really want to take it seriously. And therefore, you may want to put more emphasis on the Laws of Success book by Napoleon Hill. <laughs> Nonetheless, you know, don't get... Nonetheless, don't get overwhelmed by all of this. I think I think where you should start off if you want to start off is Think and Grow Rich. And if that's a little bit too dense for you, I have I can do a suggestion or top five video on much more subtle or easier books to get your head thinking. And again, this idea can be applied to things outside of just wealth creation type books. So as always, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.